Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to set up your first Zoom webinar connection with Active Campaign and plus this. So uh, before we start, I'll tell you a little bit about the Zoom webinar connection, why you'll use this or what it's helpful for. And that's mainly to connect Zoom with your marketing CRM. So you can do things like register people for your webinars using the landing pages that you prefer to use. Being able to send the reminders for your webinar with your email templates that look and are branded the way you want them to be. And also being able to do all of your follow-up from Active Campaign when they attend your webinars or if they miss your webinars automatically. Essentially what this tool removes is the need for you to do a lot of that manual exporting and importing from uh, Zoom into active campaign every time something happens with your webinars whether that's like someone registered now i need to put them back into active campaign someone in, attended my webinar now i need to put them into active campaign showing that thing oh i want to send out my emails yeah it's a whole mess right so this will save you a ton of time if you're running any amount of webinars and i'll show you exactly how this all works here so i think the next thing i want to show you before we even dive in and kind of set this up is some context using an actual webinar campaign. This way you can see where plus this fits in and how it's gonna do all the things that we want it to do. So here I have a little webinar campaign in active campaign or an automation here. And we can start this with like a tag or you can use like a list that people are added to or whatever method you like to get people registered. Usually people have a landing page that they create they have a form on that page and that syncs up with either a tag or a form in active campaign to get people registered. And then what you're seeing here next is the piece of uh, implementation that we'll get from Plusys when we're done setting this up that basically runs a webhook, you'll see it here. And what that does is it will register people for your webinar when it hits this point. So we'll create the connection between Zoom and Active Campaign. So when this gets hit, Zoom knows, hey, this person's registered, go ahead and register them in Zoom. And Active Campaign will keep doing some cool stuff with. Then we'll send them the email webinar registration. So I'll just show you this really quickly. One of the other things that we'll do with uh, plus this is we'll store the join links from Zoom right there in Active Campaign, So you can just merge these into your emails later on. And this allows you to basically create whatever emails you want and the templates that you like in Active Campaign, and use those to remind people when the webinar is starting and all that kind of stuff. And we're just doing a really basic one. There's a lot of other things you can do to really power your webinars, but I'm just kind of showing you the basics here and what 99% of people really use these tools for. Um, and so the rest of this campaign is pretty straightforward. We're sending out some more reminders. And then this is where it gets interesting again. Here is the end of the webinar and the next day is occurring. And now we wanna know, hey, who actually attended this webinar? Do they have this tag? Cool, we're gonna send them the follow-up for people who attended. And if they don't have that tag, we're gonna send them follow-up for the people who missed the webinar. So essentially that is the webinar campaign and how Plus this kind of plays with that. And we'll go into the tool now and show you how that's all set up. So here with Zoom webinar connection, here is what you'll do when you wanna set up one of these uh, webinars. The first thing you'll do is you'll click on this box to select which webinar it is that you are setting up for this automation. And then I'm actually gonna skip a lot of this stuff and just show you the, the real basic stuff that most people are using it for. Feel free to play around and look at all these additional options later or the field mapping stuff if you need to. But most of you are just gonna need these basic things right here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick a custom field in Active Campaign for storing the webinar join link. I happen to have one of these made already, uh, but if I didn't have this and I needed to create this, I could either go back to Active Campaign and create a custom field and it'll show up here, or I can just click on this plus sign. And what's nice about this is I can create my custom fields directly here. And when I click create field, it's going to create it in my Active Campaign account, which is really, really cool. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And then the, I'm gonna skip this one for now. It's a handy thing to do if you need to, but I don't need it in this situation. And then I'm gonna go right to the end here. 
and we're going to do some tags based on if they attended the webinar. So let's do attended webinar, and then I'll have one for missed webinar. And this is the same idea as the last one. These are tags I already have, but if I didn't have them, I can just type them in there and it'll actually create it for us in Active Campaign as well. So really, really handy stuff. Then the last thing we need to do is just give it a name. Uh, let's do Zoom Webinar Demo. Click Save. And now we're ready to do the little implementation with our Active Campaign account. So this is the URL that I was talking about in that webhook that actually gets people registered for the webinar. So I'm going to copy that. I'll go up to Active Campaign. I've already put a webhook here, so let's go ahead and delete that just so you can see how I did that. And we'll click here. And essentially, you just want this webhook in the area where someone has registered for your webinar, they've had that tag applied, and now you need to actually get them registered uh, with plus this for your Zoom webinar. So here's that little space to put the URL and just paste it there. Click Save. And that is the implementation for it. The only other thing that you'll want to keep in mind, well actually there's two things. The first thing is for your, your emails, oops, don't want to click on reports. So let's go back to the actual email itself. Uh, on the email itself, when you want to put their join links, you now can merge in that join link from that custom field that you set for this. So to merge it in, you can just click personalize and you can find your wherever you stored that custom field for the webinar join link. And so that's how you do that part. And then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is the tags for attending or missing. So with Active Campaign, you really, unless you're doing something really fancy, you can set up one of these where you can have it go down a different path based on if a certain tag exists. And in this case, we had that attended webinar tag. You'll just reference the tag you used here if you forgot. Um, and that is how we'll know if someone actually attended the webinar too. So we set that up, you're good to go. It's going to now know if someone attended or missed. And that is a basic, easy to create Zoom webinar connection uh, feature for you. So if you have any questions or you need help with this, don't hesitate to reach out. Our best way to contact us is through email at help at plusthis.com. And we'll be happy to jump on and answer your questions there. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See ya. Bye.